Exploration. Mm-hmm. Exploration. Yeah. What is exploration? I love exploring. Ah, no one's climbed this one before. Whee! Witness this moment, local. Uh, make a note. Bear boy. witness. Yeah, I oh, used no. to claw once, but I've given it up. Now I'm more of an explorer. Explorer. Maybe I. Dude, how do I think about it? Isn't this guy a VTuber? If you think about it, he is using a PNG. And there's a little bit of animation and mouth movements. He's kind of a PNG tuber. And PNG tubers are VTubers. So that means that this guy is a VTuber. Right? He's an old man VTuber who likes to talk about a lot of topics, various topics. <laughs> Hello, Void. <laughs> uh, old man, visual tell us about exploration. I should explore my sexuality. See? See? It's a visual bird. What the hell is that? Oh. Under the ocean, I'm afraid there's not much to see. A gun. Oh. Well, first don't things, bring first, a gun a little bit of admin. underwater. Yes. Um, happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, thank you. I just wanted to <laughs> you, let you know, in honor a uh, of you and my friend, um, I'm going to avoid using any homophobic slurs for the rest of the month. <laughs> uh, well, maybe just for the next 10 minutes. Look, oh, Doritos. I'm still going to say them. But I just won't see him with as much vitriol. How about, <laughs> How about I'll, I'll pull a taze on day and pull away from the mic to say them? <laughs> you imagine that? Like, we're just having a chat, and then you just hear, like, a quiet <laughs> slur. Just, like, oh, just no. In the, in the mic off the <laughs> just off in the distance. <laughs> You're you right. Dude, this is so common, huh, with streamers? Not, not about the slurs. Uh, well, I guess the slurs is also part of it. But what I mean to say is the lighting. The purplish, pinkish, bluish lighting. It's very common with streamers and like e girls, e boys, gamers, RGB lighting. Is it really RGB lighting? I'm not sure. There's a little bit of green there. But it's like purple, pinkish, blue, you know? This is so common, this kind of lighting. <laughs> what, did you say something? No. Nope. No, I didn't. <laughs> and of course, you've got your Discord set up so that, like, it's so should... sensitive oh. that it picks up even the smallest. Maybe sense. I should also use, like, blue and uh, pink oh, lighting. Mm. That's a really funny idea. Right. What did you actually want to talk about? We've flown to Hawaii uh, in a couple of months. When you look at that on Ooh, the map, Hawaii. Oh, boy. Are those dudes be out mm. there. I feel like in general that would be quite a relaxing living <laughs> for the last several thousand years. Uh, Just Hawaii. chilling eating fish and fucking coconuts and stuff. Yeah, I think it was fairly brutish as well. Like, Captain Cook, he died in Hawaii, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Hawaii's British? I thought it's like a American colony or something. Hmm. He got run over by a, a Toyota Corolla, I think. Oh! Yeah, that's right. He got, and he got killed by the locals. Water. And one of the reasons for that was they became very scared of the Europeans because this was their second voyage over. Mm -hmm. And the first time, someone went on the ship sick. They go, guys, does anyone have a cold? Does anyone have a flu? <laughs> Serious. You can't come. You can't come if you guys. Don't be sick. No, uh, he's no, sick though. I swear, it's just my allergies. Oh, no. The sea air. All right. Oh, they, they brought, brought sickness to the island? On one of the locals and then, oh, you know, no. 90 percent of the population died. <laughs> Just ran up That's and sneezed good. on them. Uh, and then he went back to England or whatever. And in the meanwhile, the Hawaiians are going, what the heck? They put a curse on us. And then Captain Cook shows up again. And he's going, I'm loving this. This was brilliant last time. They had Dude, this Europeans going to these islands, bringing in their sickness and their religion. Hmm crazy captain cook yeah he's captain cook coconut <laughs> bras they had coconut cocktails <laughs> coconut music yeah Hell they yeah. didn't have horses but they would clap the coconut <laughs> together <laughs> grass skirt loving it 
Especially when there was a strong breeze. <laughs> Hawaiian oh. shirts. Moana on TV. <laughs> oh my god, and Captain anyway, Cook, they you're were nasty. And then all of a sudden they see the natives and they're running up and this time they got spears. And they're going, what? What's going on? Hey, and what, the then... fuck? what the hell, man? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard something different. That, that doesn't seem right. Were you you calling me a liar? I don't, hey, I don't know. I, I heard something different. <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me Google. I'll Google what happened to Captain Cook? Look, I found these ladies. They will be the arbiters of the whole thing. Uh, is, you know, oh. horrible because he brought disease. He's not terribly important. The best thing about him is that we can't. That's not him. Oh, no. terribly oh, important. That's it's not very That's nice. Brutal. I'm glad we ate him. This is where Cook went, took his diseases to the Maoris, to the Tahitians, whatever. We can stay. We Hawaiians took care of this problem. Yeah. We killed Cook. He didn't know about germ theory. <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> that lady is so proud of it. Any substantial information. Oh so my god. She's so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Captain Cook before he was cooked. Yeah, got him. Mm, through in real based, based Magnus. He Wikipedia was cooked as to for what sure. Happened. Okay, so so here's what happened. So Cook, right? He returns, and it's not just him. There's other people with him. <laughs> they return to Hawaii, yep. and they need to do repairs because their ship, the mast, mm -hmm. is broken. While they're oh, doing no. that, there's a series of thefts from Cook's camp. It says here that they stole iron tongs what? and baskets. Oh. What? So it's like, it's the valuable stuff, you know. Wow, you gotta, so valuable. You gotta keep that in the vault. <laughs> they're all high value items. So you they need put baskets up with the thieving sure. and the pinching for a while, but then, so they've got these, they've got these boats, right? So they park them in the ocean. You don't want to get too close to the beach. Or you don't want to get stuck on the shore. Oh, so you then sure. take these little boats all the way to the shore. And they're called cutters. At one point they discovered, hey, someone's stolen one of our little boats. Mm. So oh. the next day, Cook and about 10 of his dudes, they march ashore, right? And they go up to the Hawaiian king. And his name is like Tariabu. And they go, you're coming with us, fella. We're going to take you as a hostage. And then we're going to force the natives to return the boat, please. <laughs> Also, I want those tongs back. <laughs> and, basket. and also, how did you possibly get past our security to steal the tongs and basket? <laughs> but what? It all started because the natives stole their baskets and their tongs and their boat. Hmm. And so they brought the diseases to them. Wow, Captain Cook. Hmm. Not very nice. In the chaos, when they're trying to take the king, a Hawaiian chief shows up. Okay. I'm so happy. And his name is like Kalimu, and he's shot and killed. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Real Just bad timing him on his away? part. <laughs> what the hell? Things have escalated from tongs and boats to murder. I like to imagine he just pops into the, the hut like, oh, oh, hey guys, what's happening here? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. just real wrong place, yeah. wrong time. I got oh, those no. 10 Hawaiian pizzas you ordered. <laughs> pizza time. So the natives, oh no, I was just delivering pizza. Understandably. Uh, Cook and his crew take off running. They're going back for the long boats. Yep. They're like, I could have had it with baskets in the boat, but not the tongs. <laughs> he will not forgive anyone who steals their tongs. Or maybe it's not tongs. What if it's not tongs? What if it's, you know, thongs, not tongs. They stole his thongs, I think. That could be it. We gotta get out of there. We gotta get off the island. They stole his <laughs> We've made a big mistake. Oh, no. Huge. And then while they're pushing their boats into the water, Cook and the crew are attacked by the natives. Oh, uh -oh. I mean, naturally. Now, they're fighting and it's like, it's all in slow motion. And Cook turns around, he shoots and he kills a native warrior. At that point, he is then struck with a wooden club. And oh. then someone stabs him with an iron dagger. Oh, <laughs> Real, That's real like rude. level one goblin items to be killed by. <laughs> <laughs> he took me to level level one goblin. damage oh, no. from that. Cook then fell down and he, along with four other soldiers, were never seen again by the men who escaped back to the Resolution, which is the big ship. And That's then they like, weirdly preserved his body and did a whole bunch of things. We can't show the images. It's very gruesome. Preserved I think they kind of liked body. him by the end. Yeah, at least once he was dead. It's hard to be angry at a ah. body, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. That is, uh, yeah, okay. Gross. That's that's very different to what I was led to believe. I would. Well, I guess they want a souvenir, right? They want proof that they actually killed this guy. <laughs> they, they want, uh, they're keeping his body as a souvenir. 
to show the tourists. You know, everybody who goes to visit to Hawaii, they're like, look at this. We got a preserved human body. We got an authentic European cook <laughs> on full display. Authentic European cook. <laughs> uh, this is why people go to Hawaii to see it. Mm. I'd like to know how this other chief was shot and killed. Bro, I suppose the instigating event was the theft, Dada, right? But that definitely escalated it a little bit. Like, how does how do you well, how do you go from? Yeah, the chief might have attacked him or something. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh. If it was a self defense, then that would make a bit more sense. I'm so sorry to the editor who has to proofread all the nonsense that I've like <laughs> all the nonsense and half truths. <laughs> yeah, things that we've like overheard in a fever dream when we're, yeah yeah, you know, yeah like they heard half it, of it at a pub because when we're, they, we're in the club <laughs> we're in the like, we just overheard you know, it. somewhere somewhere cool yeah, like, yeah. Um, based on a real Mauritius. just with a an ear to a glass at the toilet <laughs> stall and <laughs> at the kebab shop and i'm just i mean some of the history is like that it's like based on the rumors you know it's hearsay <laughs> Hey, I heard this happened, and people are like, oh, that must be true. You know? That's how drama starts. That's how history starts. Oh, it's all about that rumor that you hear in the toilet in a kebab place while pooping. Like, yeah, that's we a good fact. We go back to pooping again. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'm gonna yeah, put, yeah, that's what, going what else happened? Right in the right, brain. For sure. Right in the memory hole for later. <laughs> They're going to love this one. Add time. Nordman, oh. I sentence you Nord to man. two years in the prison slammer. But oh, I'm no. innocent. And just so you learn a lesson, here's four additional months. <laughs> that was sad. Welcome to my life. In That's like a movie. Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> It's I was drinking they coffee, you know. Snorch now. Prisoners, <laughs> it's time for cookies. I hope Ooh, you'll I love cookies. accept them. Yes. <laughs> There's no privacy in this jail at all. It's like what a cookies? goddamn prison. We have trackers <laughs> all over this prison, and we're going to use that to collect data and sell it to marketers. But someone here has been using a VPN, and I have oh, a suspicion no. of who it is. I'll never read out my crew. Warden. <laughs> have it your way then. That's Just a good let idea. me out, Warden. You don't have to make this such a huge deal. Wait a minute. Oh? Something in my prison wallet. Prison wallet? Kid, if you ever find yourself in the hole, use this. Saley eSIM. The Saley eSIM gives you 20 gigabytes of mobile data which you can use anywhere wow. in the world. And then you pair it with the NordVPN he found, app and then you're totally anonymous as well and you can pretty much go anywhere and do anything. A gift when you sign up to NordVPN. Hello, Nord24 Hours Support Hotline. I'm in solitary and I'm feeling very alone right now. Aww. Where, where did he go? Impossible! Come with me. I can't. I belong here. I belong but where are you here. gonna go, kid? With Nord's thousands of servers around the globe, <laughs> anywhere but here. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Final call for the flight. All it's a whole ass movie. By the gate. Not leaving so soon, are you? Huh? Huh? I changed my mind about jail. Sailing man? I sentence you to a life sentence. <laughs> With me. <laughs> Naughty Dufresne was never seen again. That's a beautiful love story. But he went on to commit many, many Nord is more caked crimes. Up, yeah. So get NordVPN today with NordVPN.com slash incognito. Get a huge wow. deal on a two year plan plus a beautiful four movie. extra months. And when you sign up using my link, you get a free eSIM with Saley. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Would you live at the bottom of the ocean? Absolutely no. not. Not even. No. I don't even, Same. I don't even I want wouldn't. to think about it. No. Look, I'm first, I'd play Bioshock 1 scared. and 2. That seems like an awful idea. It'd, it'd be fun to visit, maybe. But... I'd quite like to live under the ocean. Really? That seems really neat, you know, live in a big 
glass semicircle. You have like a, a chute, you have like a window that just opens up and just fish oh. pour in, you close oh, it, no. and that's your dinner. I just like to imagine like some like <laughs> 1950s housewife just opening up the windows to get some air in and just a bunch of fish flopping. The apple pie on the windowsill just gets obliterated. Oh no, not a pie. Now, I want to show you this because I saw this the other day and I thought this it was very neat. Up. Okay, so this is a very cool channel. It's called Natural World Facts, right? And this particular video is on brine pools. Mm. Ooh. And so what happens is at the bottom of the ocean... There's a pool inside the ocean. There's like water forms in the, in the water. Ocean. There are different levels right. of salinity and sometimes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the these pockets of exceedingly salty water and they're usually filled with like sulfur and lots of other mm, bad salty. stuff too yeah right so it's like dude the league of legends players live there <laughs> uh, maybe it's an old joke i'm sorry that joke is outdated as fuck i'm sorry so this guy's you know, here's this crab and he's loving it and look at all yeah. his muscles Brilliant. oh you'd be stoked absolutely and then there's a pool over here and somehow it's breached its wall and then it's just slid downhill and it spills out like a river running through the bottom of the a ocean river of salt. across the sea floor <laughs> And it just finds like its lowest point, right? Because it's heavier than the rest of the water. Yeah, right. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's and heavy. there's all these like oysters that are like, it's great being down here, lower than the brine pool. <laughs> I'm loving this. Look at oh, those no. idiots up there stuck in the brine pool, unlike us. <laughs> Downhill chads. Food's falling down here all the Brian, time. We're see? getting big and fat and we love it. Yes. <laughs> the downhill chad versus the Brian Pool Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, hey, what's that? What's that smell? Is it getting That's so dumb. <laughs> Five seconds later, he's like, I can't get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. And they just get devastated. <laughs> So it really is like <laughs> the Goo Lagoon and SpongeBob, oh, like how they fish. they have water. It's the it's the sequel to yes. water. There's water inside water. Yeah, it's crazy that exactly. it is. Goo it is just so much darker. Like in a fantasy game, that would be the void or the the yeah. dark evil that seeps across the land. Look at these stupid fish. Oh. <laughs> like oh. they can see there's just death incarnate, and then it fell what's in. down here? Oh, I'm oh. dying. Oh, I'm dying. Oh I'm dead. Ah, oh, this fish. Yeah, fish are stupid. I think if they had eyebrows, would feel bad for them. Right. But they don't. So like, Aww. if you saw someone like throw a puppy off a cliff, oh, you'd, you'd what the feel hell? horrible. Right. But like discussing a fish off a cliff, that would honestly be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. They're so alien looking. Fish, they fish, can't fish. emote that you don't really feel bad for them. I feel like being a fish is literally the worst animal you could roll. Yeah. Because like... At least if you're a land mammal, you can at least see the world around you. Right. Fish is like, you can see at most two to five meters in front of you. Yeah, you got your eyes at the side of your head. At any point, you can just get five minutes <laughs> of these jump scared by like a bigger fish of which there is like infinite oh, amounts no. of. Like, oh, wow, look, a tasty morsel. Mm, that that yum, thing yum. looks delicious. So I go and I take a little bite. Oh my god, oh my god, something's pulling on my face. <laughs> something's pulling on my ah! fucking face. And then you know what? You might pull a cool trick ah. and somehow you might get loose of the line and you go, Whoa, that wasn't a tasty morsel at all. I got tricked. Oh, oh there's something no. in my Dude, he got a sick piercing. That's a nice piercing right there. Free piercing. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that statement though, that being a fish is the worst thing. Maybe not. I feel like it would be worse to be a... Hmm... To be what? Maybe to be an insect. Like the insect who grow to adulthood, but in their adulthood they don't have the ability to eat and sustain themselves anymore because they only grow up to adulthood so, so they could reproduce. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of worse. Because you grow up, you just smash some booty, and then you die. Wait, actually maybe that's a good way to go, huh? Spend all your life trying to reach adulthood, and then when you reach adulthood, after smashing booty, you die. You don't need to eat. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> it would be horrible to be a virus? Yes, it would be. 
but they're not exactly alive. They're like um between life and death. They're both alive and dead at the same time. They're not alive if they're not inside a host. It would suck to be a sea cucumber. Ooh, sea cucumber. You can eat poop as diet. <laughs> it all goes back to the poop. Yes. Wait, there's a lot of fish that eat poop, right? Like the seabed fish. What do you call that? Um, floor. Sea floor. Sea floor slurpers. What do you call that? Bottom feeders. There you go. Sea floor slurpers. <laughs> The bottom feeders, they eat poop, right? They clean the ocean floor of poops. And if you have them in your aquarium, your aquarium will be clean of poops. The bottom feeder. Well, that's what I heard at least. I don't know. I never had an aquarium. I don't know how it works. I never had a bottom feeder in as a pet before. Hmm. Mouth, <laughs> and you've just got the hook now yeah, there yeah, yeah. forever. It's like there's something between my teeth, Steve. Could you get this? Can you imagine just, it's can a piercing, you imagine though. Just having even just the idea of like something between your teeth and you can't do anything about it. But imagine, yeah, then just having like a piece of shrapnel in your face that's just <laughs> stuck there. And not only do you not have the capability of removing it, nobody <laughs> you know does. Stuff. And no one feels any sympathy either. At best, you get a oh, you got a new piercing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. damn uh, Jeff's gone metal, huh? Well, I think it's because no matter what, the fish's life ends in a in a brutal and violent way. Yes, Aww. there is no fish retirement. The, the fish no grows fish old and grey and, and slumps off mm. from the herd to. It's neither better to keep aquarium far less problematic than the catfish. Catfish pleco. Oh, really? Snails. To die a peaceful life amongst Wait, the trees and wouldn't the snails just escape because they can climb the walls of the aquarium? Hmm, that's gonna be horrific. Hey, hold my fin. <laughs> <laughs> I see the light. <laughs> No, it's getting eaten, torn apart, your cheek's getting pulled by a rod, you're getting yep. dissolved by stomach acid alongside oh, no. 500 other fish in the whale's guts, you're drowning in saltier water. There's re yeah, there's no good out no. for a fish. Because, yeah, the idea of being a fish is like, you're in like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 24-7. Every like, direction they turn <laughs> around, oh, no. you hear the revving of the chainsaw. You're literally running 24-7, except you've also got two extra axes to deal with because mm. a fish could come from above or oh, below God. too. Yeah, I didn't even oh, think of that. No. You can't like hide behind a bush. I guess you could hide <laughs> in some rocks on the seabed. And also visibility, right? Like, unless you're in crystal clear waters. And there's no way that they're not weird <laughs> oh, enough no, by it's the difficult to be a fish either. Like, they must be looking at something as guys. Like, <laughs> they look fucking weird. But you reckon they're like, it's like, they can't bring it up. <laughs> Kind of offensive. Uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, they're just like, uh, you know, the little fish kids. They go, no, no, don't be insensitive. Hey, hey, hey. It's, oh, yeah, it's like no. when a child sees like a, a disabled person and starts like pointing at them or whatever and just like, no, no, just that's just how they are. Oh, no. It's okay. Bluffish. Poor bluffish. Would you ever want to climb a mountain? I wouldn't climb a mountain. I'd walk up one. I would never do Everest. There's like a pretty high percentage chance you don't get out of that. I just don't see the appeal. You gotta take like three weeks off work. Yeah, there's a good chance you'll just die in one of the worst ways, you know, like either getting crushed or rolled in a hill or falling oh. down a crevasse and breaking your leg and just mm. starving oh, no. to death. Like there's, there's innumerable ways you could die. I'm sure the view is spectacular. I don't think it is. Dude. Mountain climbing is pretty fun, I think. If Mm. I would say I am interested in mountain climbing, but I don't want to climb mountains for days. Maybe like a mountain that you can climb for less than a day. You know, like maybe you could reach the, the peak in four hours, something like that. But a mountain that you have to climb for a number of days now. Because I have tried it before. It is really fun. The view is amazing. It hurts my legs so much though, but I feel like it's worth it and it, it feels good to do that 
adventure. It feels good to climb a mountain and it feels good like afterwards you remember it's like oh yeah I did that. Half is nice. You know what I mean? It is difficult but it is fun at the same time. Also last time when I climbed the mountain with friends it helps that we brought a lot of alcohol as well. <laughs> we brought a lot of alcohol to the uh, to the camping area. <laughs> Uh, my legs were dead after that one though like two days later the next day i it hurts to walk so much and two days later it still hurts my legs but it's beautiful up there mm. i think you can barely see anything that's what i'm saying but even what you do see is like when it's something like this like the image you have there no, not that one though. it's like oh you mm. just that's see more scary. snowy rocks it's not like you climb to yeah. the top of a nice hill and Yellowstone yeah. oh, Valley. There's no beautiful. nice restaurant up there. No, exactly. You're not you're not uncovering like a hidden lagoon or valley or something. And especially like Mount Everest as well. You, you're doing it with like 600,000 other people. So it's, it's like I've heard during peak time of the year, it's literally like a conga line to the top yeah. of the mountain. Oh. So it's not even like yeah. you're yeah. like a bold explorer going where no one's gone before. Didn't someone uh, do it in like shorts? One of those like oh. guys who says they can like control yeah. their body temperature. Yeah. I'm what? not kidding. I think a guy did do that. Is it? Yeah, it's Wim Hof. I thought it was him. The, guy, the, the ice mountain? man says he's able to like regulate his body temperature. Mean, there must be something to it if he can. Yeah. If he didn't die, <laughs> you'd be pissed off, wouldn't you? Like you, you're, you're, you've spent oh, several thousand dollars at so Kathmandu, kidding yourself out, and you just see some guy. Yeah, it it feels like you're way topping everybody. It's already impressive <laughs> to climb to the top, and now he's like doing it even better than you. He's like, come on, man, let me, at mm. least let me have this. Wasn't Dark Souls, you know, you can pick your class and you, you can be like, uh, is it deprived, depraved or something? You're just in deprived. Your... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know the one you mean. He's, a, um... he's just combat rolling to the top of the, <laughs> the top of the mountain. Oh my God, naked man, combat rolling to the top of Mount Everest. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what I explored. Okay. I That's explored amazing. the bookshop on the weekend. That's like a mental exploration. I used to have a lot of books. Like a lot of books. Mm. I have you a lot seem of books. well read. I'm I'm not particularly well read. <laughs> well read. Uh, well read. Dude, I have a lot of books, but I haven't read anything in a long time. In years. I haven't read a book in years. Because <laughs> I'm on YouTube all the time. I just watch videos. I'm on the internet all the time. <laughs> but what happened was i used to buy books for a dollar sure very quickly i accumulated a lot of books and anyway i moved to one place and then, Penguin classics. and then i moved to another place they got kind of left to the elements and so much dust got in there so i went full 1930s mode and I, I had a, a fire. What? In the you burned the book. With, well, yeah, I had a book burning of my own stuff. And I thought, Sheesh. I'm just going to start the collection again. And so this weekend, I went to the bookstore and I got some better books. Some books. Two dollars. <laughs> I got some books with pictures. In them. So comics Ooh. or like children's books. So they've got a whole aisle. Oh. Now, Derek. I know what kind of books he he bought. Yes, with pictures, of course. Those are the best kind of books. <laughs> Catered to uh, manga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's pronounced manga. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> and and so they had they had these books on like Junji Ito, and I thought, yeah, it's quite spooky. I like spooky stories. Oh yeah, he's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I got a couple of those. I'm wandering around. Oh, Junji Ito, hell yeah. That's I get good. to the like mystical aisle, and I thought, oh, this would be funny. I'll I'll buy her story <laughs> Long, in like right? a book on witchcraft. And then when witchcraft? people come around and visit, I'll like leave it on the coffee table, and I'll <laughs> tell people that her story <laughs> is really into this stuff now. Oh, oh dog eared <laughs> with like a bookmark in it. And... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I'm in that sort of aisle. And there's a whole bunch of tarot cards there. Oh, yeah. Let's. Strange how that stream turned around directly. On... What? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Let's have a look at that. So I look at those. I pick it up, and the box feels very light. I mean, oh, that's weird. And it says in a, on a sticker, "Please see at the counter." They can't trust tarot cards in the store regular. <laughs> What? Interesting. So That's I went strange. to the front counter 
and I, you know, I bought my, my, my couple of books. And I said to the lady, why are all the tarot cards behind the counter? And she mm. goes, there's so much shoplifting of tarot cards. It's huh. like the most stolen thing in the whole store. Really? Oh, wow. Tarot cards. I would not have picked that. No, I wouldn't have either. I thought that was so interesting. And I said, so what's... Wait. If the tarot cards are the most stolen stuff, do you think... The people who made the tarot cards predicted this would happen. Because it's like related to predicting the future, right? <laughs> ah, that sounded better in my head. Mm. It's number two. And then she points down at my book. She goes, <laughs> we've got a copy of Berserk up the back. And we don't Ooh, even keep it sure. at the front counter. <laughs> Yeah, we keep it in the like the storage out the back. That does not surprise me because I've I've tried to buy the first edition of because Berserk, so I'm like, I want to read this, so but mm. it's never anywhere, and I just yeah. assumed, oh, it must it's so popular that it's sold out. But that makes way more sense that people were just it's, Shanghaiing it. I, yeah, oh, she also they said steal like, it. Well, the reason that the tarot That's cards not there. are stolen so often is because they're so easy to resell. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Would stealing them not imbue them with some dark energy, or yeah. does that like activate their it's powers? Be cursed. Now, ironically, if the store actually used the tarot cards, they would know that they're about to get stolen from. <laughs> yeah, it's like how no one steals a Ouija board because oh, no. you always see it coming. Uh, it's funny how recent Ouija boards are. Yeah, I've heard it's Parker Brothers thing. Yeah, it? it was just some know. goofy board game from like the 60s. Questions? Don't be left in the dark. Oh, it's you a board game. Ouija. Be like if Mousetrap turned out to be haunted or something. Oh yeah, no, I like that. It's like, whatever you do, do not go seeking the cheese. <laughs> I did once, and it's... boy do I regret it. Do you remember the Mousetrap ad? It's That's a crazy cra traption. Wait. No, uh, no, it's, it's a, the cra it's crazy action. Uh, something, 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 action. It's the crazy contraption. The fun, the fun is, is catching its mousetrap. Mouse what well, they should have for the tarot cards. They're plated in such a way that you just want to steal them. Mm. Even if you have no interest in stealing tarot cards, you're like, oh, I could fully take that so easily. Yeah. But you do. And then all of a sudden you start hearing like oh. clinks and dinks of small oh. ball bearings rolling around. A giant plastic cage lands on top of you. <laughs> I don't know how that works with OSHA, but I reckon we could get it get it pushed through. Old video games. Old video games, especially old online games, are very what is creepy this? in a in a very liminal space kind of way. That's true. That you mean? know the graphics are all like very outdated and you will be playing games where there'll be the implication of a wider world but there's mm. you just know and the reality is there's nothing there like if i could just jump over this wall i'm in a void oh, <laughs> it's a png yeah, right yeah like you're playing um pokemon or something and you actually manage to move the truck and there's yeah. a door Ooh. and you step into the door yeah and you go inside right and it's That's like amazing. a liminal space which is very scary. Yeah. And it's oh, like a cave. That's You're expecting Ooh. to encounter Doug Trio and Zoo <laughs> yeah. Bats, but yep. instead it's nothing. As I walked through the cave, just, just it got nothing. darker and darker. Sheesh. And I started to notice some strange things. There were skeletons. Wait, what's the what's the bit? It's called like uh, Pokemon Death Black. Or no, like, it has to be called Death Black. <laughs> Pokemon Blood Red or something. <laughs> Poke Pokemon really? uh, What's a scary color? Pokemon gray, actually. That's kind of cool. That's a mm. liminal color. Is there, is there like an objective missing, we can throw on it? Missing like, no. What about like morbid gray? I feel Pokemon gray. I feel green. Like... <laughs> Pokemon kill your parents orange. Oh, where no. Does this, where does this go? Uh, I, I got, wait, wait, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. The weird thing was the man at the EB Games insisted <laughs> that this it's... was the best version. What's the up man with at the EB Games insisted yeah. that. What? Are those battle scars? Or what? Is this from a show? Maybe this is not the the real EB Games guy. That's creepy. I thought it's a real guy. 
Seems like from a movie. Those eyes are scary. This was the best version. It's weird though. Never seen that man work in there before. Image when of he a spoke, man that's seen too much. He spoke mm. backwards and in tongues. But I <laughs> thought it's creepy. He just had an aneurysm. I just shrugged. I haven't seen this picture before. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. It's perfect. Hello, Vegeta. I walk up mean? to Hello. one of the corpses and push A, expecting a dialogue box to open up. He's real. I see him after not sleeping for this. What? That's spooky. I don't like that. Vegeta, did you return home? Did you bring us pizza? Pizza! How was your vacay? Eh? Old dude looked like he needed to take a massive dump. Mm. And one did. But it was blank as though the programmers had forgotten to type anything in. And that was when it happened. The Pokemon battle music started playing. But backwards. And all distorted. Oh. Eventually, I came to a crossroads. I could either go left or right, so I turned right, and as I got to the end of that path, there was another was intersection, okay, so I turned right, eventually I got tired, I went onto the dark net, <laughs> and I started asking, what's going on, and then someone finally replied, never go left, <laughs> oh. luckily till then I had only ever gone right, and the username was just H3LPM3. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I logged back onto my Game Boy. I turned left. That's when it happened. <gasps> I blacked out. In the game and in real life. I woke up the next day and I went outside. I was suddenly in the cave. Oh! In real <laughs> Holy life. Holy shit! This is too spooky! I yelled out into the cave. Hello? Hello? I don't is like this. Body there? There? I'm too but scared. all I heard back was echoes. <laughs> there? 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 Oh no. As time went on though, yeah, the echoes yeah, yeah, started yeah, to become more distorted. It was surreal. It was more than surreal. It was liminal. <laughs> My dad's gonna kill me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> They've always got their priorities wrong, yeah. Oh, I came no. across several piles of bones. I bent down over one of the skeletons and I saw in its pocket a journal. I opened the journal and I read the first page. It said, I'm so happy. Today I just bought my copy of Pokemon Grey. And all this is written down in a journal. I flipped through. Why did this turn into a spooky story? Oh my god. Mm. Didn't sleep for two days? No. Oh. I hope you get the good sleep soon, Vegeta. Oh no. Did you get gifts? I'm the gift. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah the pages and then i found it they said they found the truck too they went oh. into the cave as well and now they're saying that they're lost in the cave oh, this no. person's style of writing was familiar oh my god oh, my suspicions no. were confirmed when i got to the final <laughs> page all that it was, was hundreds and hundreds of scratchings that said don't go left then i saw it they <laughs> signed their name at the bottom of their last journal <laughs> entry h3 l P M three. That's when I realized it was saying Hithropomer. <laughs> <laughs> I walked around in the game a little bit more until I saw the first human figure oh, I'd seen no. in this cave in the game. I started to get closer to Atch Ketchum, but he wasn't <laughs> usual. He was 18 feet tall <laughs> and his limbs were all very lanky, not like in the cartoons. Instead of, I want to be the best. He said, I want to kill everybody. <laughs> and as his face got closer, it was like my vision was overcome with TV static. Ah. And I blacked out. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's when creepy. That up, got me. I was in a strange uh, Why am I place. watching this? It was still the cave, but in the distance, <laughs> why am I watching I could this? See lights, like I thought this is going to be fun and adventurous. There was a hospital bed <laughs> in the cave. Oh, and Ash Ketchum was in the hospital bed. I went over oh there to God. see what was going on. And as I got up right next to Ash, I realized <laughs> he's been in a coma the whole time. Wait a minute. I had seen a theory about this. That's when I looked back again and I realized. What was it? Ash had my face. Oh. Well, his mouth just opened and it played like the garbled, ah! oh creepy God. Pokemon oh cries. God. We've done that eight times. That's why we can't do that. I don't like watching horror stuff. What the 
fuck, I'm so dumb. But I'm scared. Mm. What's our favorite streamer doing? I am scared of this <laughs> video. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna poop myself. If I watch anyone. Well, we did it a ninth time. It can't be more static. He can't open his mouth and more static comes out. Like this. He can! Be... I blinked and now I was in the bed looking oh. up. But I was no longer in the cave. I was in the hospital. <laughs> I had just woken up and my parents were around me. They said that I fainted. I was looking was around for, for a moment. my Game Boy Color, but I couldn't see it anywhere. I asked my dad and he said, it's at home, but we haven't even bought you a single game to play in it yet. You've been playing an empty Game Boy the whole time. This experience shook me to my core, but my dad and mum both reassured me that everything will be all right. I'm freaking anyway, out. This might be my last journal entry for a few weeks. Uh, oh me no. and my parents are going to go on holiday tomorrow to visit New York City. Thanks, everyone. Dated September 10th. 2001. Oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's so stupid. A few weeks later, I was at a cafe out with my girl when all of a sudden I looked across the table and what I saw, it shocked me to my core. The guy from EB oh. Games is just like there. Like oh no! Michael Caine giving like a Oh my a god, no he scares me. At the end of Batman. <laughs> yeah. Like a pedestrian walks past and he's gone. <laughs> that's it yeah 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 or it's got to be like a suspenseful thing like uh oh think of what the ramifications for the whole world will be so uh over the years i've tried to put that all behind it's not over Keep yet it out of my memory why is it not over yet oh my god this is spooking me maybe it really was all just no. a except yeah one day i was what? browsing the pirate bay yeah and uh, someone I'm scared. had uploaded the rom Pokemon Void Black. There it was. And it had been downloaded 30 million times. <laughs> I clicked on it, and the description was just an oh. assy art picture of oh, Ash no. Ketchum's face in the bed, exactly how I remember it. I ran downstairs. My, I knew my dad liked to use the pirate bay. I went oh, into his study, I burst through the door. Don't play that rum. But when I opened the door to his office, there was just a chair, an empty pile of clothes, and the rom was open. He had gone to a liminal space, ah. and I would never see him <laughs> again. All I heard was that familiar beat. Beep, 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 beep. He's behind him. Thanks again to Nord. He's behind. Don't forget to get a huge deal on it to you, <laughs> Oh God, why did it become a spooky, a spooky star? I thought this is about exploration. Stupid fish. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Don't search Lavender Town, Creepypasta. They're very scary. Ah, no, I'm not. I search any of those. I don't like spooky stories. Especially if there are pictures related to it and uh, um, videos. Scary videos? I don't like them. I could read about them, but I cannot watch scary stuff. Unless if someone is explaining it in like um, a scientific way or like matter of fact way. But if it's a story like this, oh, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I like it when they base things on true events. Uh, yeah. Like and subscribe. Like. And subscribe. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.